So, obviously, we start with the avocados. Feeling an avocado, you know, you want a little squishy. If it's hard, you're probably looking at a week away. These may be just, they're definitely ripe and ready. You just bust that open. Look at that little fella. He's sitting right in there like that, and you just pull him right out of there like that. Spoon, you don't, uh, you know, they make all kind of equipment that you can get this out of there, but it's almost just like a one scooper like that. And, and guacamole, you know, when we took a tour with, with uh, ZZ Top one year, and we all took our grills and all this stuff, and Saturday was Mexico Day, and Billy would always insist on making the guacamole. Um, Billy Gibbons' recipe is very similar to this as far as actual ingredients, though he and I would argue on some points now that I've made enough guacamole that I can argue about it. And for instance, he likes fresh jalapenos. I like pickled jalapenos. You know, you get them in a jar because, you know, they're soft, they're flavorful, and you get all this great juice that comes that pickled juice, I think kind of adds to the flavor. And I had my guacamole, I could tell by squeezing a, an avocado if it was ready or not, whatever, but Billy was very meticulous about what ingredients went in. And always fresh cilantro, and I'm like, come on, Billy, we got, you know, we would send runners, they'd have to go for miles sometimes to get the ingredients, especially fresh cilantro. So here we go, that's what I'm talking about. That is some pickled jalapenos right there. Got some juice in it, we'll put that right in there. And they're just diced up. You know, you can buy jalapenos all pickled and diced ready to go in there, so not much to fool with there. But I had an appreciation for it, and I came to realize how important it was. And those little things, it's the same way with winemaking, that, those little things that separate good from great, you know. And, and guac's fun, and you can use it for everything from fajitas to chips. First time I used one of these, I went, you gotta be kidding. This is like my favorite thing ever. And it will totally make guacamole look just like what you get at your favorite Mexican restaurant. Um, it's, it's great on Mexico Day, so I gotta give Billy Gibbons credit for the guacamole and for helping me realize how to make a good guac. And I, I, think, I think I got a good one in here. People use like an automatic blender to do this or something. And they get this puree thing. It looks like some kind of soup and they call it guacamole. It just makes me want to hit somebody. Of course, we'd have our favorite margarita drink going or tequila sunrise, something like that, a little sangria wine. Because I love my sangria wine. Yeah, you know it was a friend of mine. Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm, what I'm talking about.